Hello, my name is Fran Sands. Welcome to my boxing coach, um, Dmitry Bivol, the Russian WBA light heavyweight champion of the world. Wonderful boxer, um, very distinctive style, a style that we can learn lots from. And that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to dissect the Bivol style. So at the end of this video, you'll be able to apply key elements of his boxing style in your training. Before we get started, why don't you go download your book, The Beginner Boxer Toolkit. Um, 68 pages packed full of insight and information to help you on your boxing journey, be it for fitness or for competition. You get the 10 core skills all with video links. How to develop the right mindset, the five building blocks of punch power, the seven steps to super speed, how to work the heavy bag, shadow boxing, how to build your training regime. There's lots in there. You will come back to it again and again and again. Click the link below, uh, enter your email, and I will send you lots and lots of stuff, including that book. Um, and there will be a link at the end of the video. Okay, Dimitri Bivo. Um, 200 over 280 amateur fights, um, Bevo. Um, and in his early days, you can find his style on the internet. It is the classic Russian, the classic Eastern European style. Um, sort of that, that, that bladed stance, the, the lead hand really high, really controlled in the foot movement. And we get that, that, that bounce back and forth take edgy range long range um classic eastern european style the core of his style is the same now but he's adapted it for the pros kind of like Usyk. so up you know in a recent Usyk video i did i'll put a link up here somewhere um very similar concept Usyk has retained much of his the skills and the development he had as an amateur. Um, and yeah, I know there's people out there who, who look rather dismissively at amateur boxing, the, the sport that you know produces kids from a gym like this. Without amateur boxing, you don't get pro boxing. Right? This places like this is where these fighters learn their trade and really culture themselves and become experienced and then they evolve and develop into the pro game they learn the skills in places like this of coaches like me and other, thousands of others all around the world that's a mini rant that's that's over back to the point when my boxers talk about fighters you know they go oh canelo well, don't try and emulate canelo you try and emulate canelo in the amateur boxing ring, you'll just get beaten up um emulate Usyk emulate Bivol. So I've got two on my list now, you know, Lomachenko as well, but he, he's, he's a bit different, isn't he? But Bivol and Usyk, these are the two that I just go to my boxes. Yeah, emulate them, look at them, watch them, study them, understand them, use their style, you know, look at aspects of their style. Because it's fundamentally core, built from, from the amateurs. So what is the style? Well, Number one, look at the, how wide his stance is. I mean, most of the time his stance is really wide, right? So what does this do for us? Well, it allows fine mobility movements. What do I mean by that? So he has this long style. So that me a long stance. So that means that he can be uh, at the edge of range. He can push into long range and be back out really quickly so it's boom, boom. right that takes him in to long range takes him back to the edge of range long range edge of range i did videos on this years ago back right when i started in sort of 2010 when i started the youtube stuff and you can you can develop this a little drill for you forwards and backwards it's just push off the back leg front leg goes when we're going backwards push off the front leg back leg goes so you do that and what you end up with you do that over and over and over and over and over again and you keep going you keep doing it and what you can end up with is something like this i called it the stinger step in those original videos back sort of 12 years ago whatever it was 
But I didn't invent this stuff. I was getting taught this stuff back in the late 80s, early 90s when I was on England training camps. We'd just do this for hours. In, out, in, out. So what you get is one, one, two. So you watch the feet. One, one, two. One, one, two. You get the point. Edge of range, long, long range. So that's a core part of the B-Vol style. That, that wide stance allows fine mobility. Then there's this high guard. He catches so many shots on his, on his hands. So it's just there all the time or here. There are occasions when a long range he will let that lead hand drop, but watch his body weight distribution when he does that. So I don't want to, I've got another thing to talk to you about his upper body in a minute. But when that lead hand drops, that stays there, that will not move. That's fixed. He doesn't want to take shots on this side. So when he's there, if he drops that lead hand, watch the subtle body weight drop. His body weight will drop onto his back leg. That's a defensive posture. When you body weight in three areas on the front leg, that's an aggressive po uh, posture. You're push putting pressure on. Central, kind of still offensive, but more balanced. Rear foot, that's more defensive posture. So you'll drop that, get the opponent to trigger. But generally speaking, he catches so many shots on his arms against Ramirez, against Canelo. Right the way back when he fought Joe Smith, he really caught him with a big shot as well, but one of the few. He catches so many. It's funny, I struggle sometimes with boxes because a lot of boxes have the hands here. When you're moving into range, there, hands high. I don't know why I struggle to convince people about that. It makes no more sense than struggling to convince someone not to get blind, stinking drunk, climb behind the wheel of the car and drive at high speeds down dark country roads. You know, it doesn't make sense. When you're moving in, when you're getting into that fight zone, get the hands up. Now, here's a little bit of the, the genius. He talked about the wide stance. What he actually does, if you watch his upper body, his upper body comes square. So his lower body is absolutely bladed, perfect amateur stance, sort of the ability to high guard. So when he's, when he's using that high guard and that movement in and out, it's really difficult to contend with, really difficult to fight. Turns, you see his rear foot lifts, so he's really got, you know, he's, he's planting, he's up on the ball of that rear foot, but he's got the upper body squared up to the opponent, right? So he's able to absorb full, really heavy shots, bang. So what he's doing here is getting the opponent to throw big shots. It tires them out. So he's there able to absorb. What it also means, he's got this really ridiculous overpowered jab. So from there, and it's bang. So you can see the rotation that he's bringing in. And then he just kind of, much of his damage is done at long range. But the key thing about this is, he's able to move towards an opponent. Bang, bang, they're taking shots here. And then he can... Use that little movement while still in the square position. So he's putting pressure on, but he maintains his mobility. It's absolutely genius, and he has that overpowered jab. So his straight punches are where all the damage is done. Absolutely fantastic little aspect of his style. It's easy to overlook. Just that, that when his body squares off, as opposed to that, which is what a star was as an early amateur. Now it's that. So this is the evolution into the, the pro game. And you saw him as he got towards the end of his amateur days. That started coming in when he was doing the USB, where he's doing six rounds, which are like early pro fights. 
and we talked before about the varied weight distribution lead hand blow but that is always there and a body weight on the rear foot tees and when he does his upper body square his body weight comes forward onto the front foot but that rear foot is off the ground ready to really absorb them heavy shots coming in one final point no fancy combinations with this guy he can hook he can uppercut he can do it all much of the damage he does are simple straight shots but he just does them so he can he can be like where his feet are he's taking them into range you know he can fire really heavy shots with little minor adjustments back 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 yeah the beaval supremacy amazing style wide stance um, ability to to do his stinger step in and out high guard catches so many on his arms that squared up a body leading to the overpowered jab and the ability to get the opponent to throw heavy shots and wear them down and his varied weight distribution brilliant fighter brilliant okay i'm gonna stop download your book the beginner boxer toolkit should be a link here and i look forward to seeing you in the next video cheers <laughs>